Okay, so this is, <clears throat> I haven't done this before, so I hope this comes through all right. Um, I just thought it'd probably be a good idea to explain to everybody sort of some of the stuff that's been going on, some of the lab testing that I've gotten back. <clears throat> so what we have here is uh, some lab testing done by Acumen Labs. Let's see if I can focus that a little bit better. And what it is is it's an ATP profile. It shows you um, sort of how well your cells are making ATP or making energy. <clears throat> so I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. There you go. Okay. So what you can see here is that um, this is whole cell ATP with excess magnesium. Part of your energy metabolism is magnesium dependent and then we score as we go down. So 1.24 is lower than the reference range here at 1.6. And then you have endogenous magnesium, so that's low, 0.75. Then you've got the ratio of ATP to ATP that's bound with magnesium, and that should be greater than 0.65 and it's low again, it's at 0.6. <clears throat> and then if we come down to, you know, I'll see if I can make that bigger, there we go. look at the reference ranges here. So that's ATP <clears throat> bound with magnesium. Um, see if I can move get bigger, move down. There we go. So I'll just move this over a little bit. So this is ATP in picamoles per uh, 10 to the sixth cells. And these are the reference ranges, 290 to 700, the start of the test, so that's 225, so that's way low. And then you've got 274, the reference range is 410 to 950. <clears throat> so, um, you know, then you've got, you know, this number here, this 36, this represents sort of how fast you deplete ATP. Um, when your body asks for energy. <clears throat> so again, the reference range should be 140 to 330, and I'm down here at 36. So, you know, basically low all the way across the board. So, and if we just um, see if we can zoom in and then move down to the comments. Okay, so there are the comments. It's a little bit hard to see with the stamp in your way, but it reads very low whole cell ATP, um, very low, uh, my, uh, mito ATP and very poor provision of ATP and down here it says very rapid depletion of ATP on increased energy demand over here low ATP related magnesium and very poor ADP to ATP reconversion so that's all sort of the currency of of energy okay <clears throat> Let's see if I can zoom back out here This is, this is actually a pretty interesting test. This is cell-free DNA. It's a measure of how many cells in your body are dying as a result of the low, low energy state. And uh, there you go, 21.8. <clears throat> and um, the reference range for that is up to 9.5. So um, that's DNA in plasma. So, if we just move down here, this is the scale. Mild increase, some increase, definite increase, highly significant. All right, so I fall into highly significant. And uh, this here, the only way for your cells to be able to make energy is if they can they can, uh, let's see if I can focus a little bit better for you, there you go, is if they can cool the reaction down, because once you make energy, you make free radicals. So this is showing the enzyme activity, the amount of um, antioxidants that are made to cool down that reaction so that uh, the superoxide doesn't fry all the cell lipids. <clears throat> and, you know, here's your reference range. 240 is the absolute bottom. I'm at 210. Then you've got, you know, 125 is the absolute bottom for 
This is this stands for <clears throat> superoxide dismutase, and these are bound to to zinc and copper and to magnesium. And then it's 114, which is under 125. So what's what's kind of interesting about that is that uh, when you come over here to uh, the genetic testing, the the my genes, my genetics. <clears throat> that code for those enzymes are normal. Bang, 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 bang. My genetics are fine, perfect. And yet, low enzyme activity, low enzyme activity, and then this one technically falls in the, in the normal range, but it's on the low side. So, uh, what that all means is that you, you cannot make energy without antioxidants. If you can't cool the reaction, you'll just fry your cells, and it'll kill your cells. And, and that's clear, that's what's happening. Because if we go back um, to cell-free DNA, cell-free DNA test, uh, you can clearly see that my cells are dying. 30% of my cells are dying. Well, 21.5% of, of my cells are dying as a result of, uh, of having no antioxidants. So the, the, the reactions to make energy destroying the cells. So it's not as simple as just making more ATP because you more, more ATP is great, but, but if, you, if you use that reaction, you just destroy the cells anyway, so that doesn't help you. And this test is, is, is ranked, uh, let's see if I can pan down here a little bit, there we go. So 100 would be a healthy person, you know, normal use of ATP, and uh, I scored a 31. So that's 31 percent of the lowest limit, so the most the most tired, healthy person, you know, an elderly person, somebody that's really slowed down but is still healthy, um, would be at 100, and I'm at 31. So I hope that explains things a little bit better, and I, I hope people have a little bit better understanding of what's going on, and, uh, and that's my story for today. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.